and uh, and he used what we were doing to teach me things I was too young to understand. And and uh, one one spring, he decided uh, that we were going. We, we had both peach trees in our yard, and we had plum trees. My grandfather didn't believe you should have anything in your yard unless you could eat off of it. And so we had peach trees and plum trees. And, and he decided that we were going to take a peach limb and graft it onto a plum tree and make nectarines. Nectarine is a peach grown on a plum tree. And because it gets its source from the plum tree, it, its skin is smooth instead of fuzzy. So Grandpa made three cuttings from the peach tree. Then we went down to the plum tree. And, and, and he put one graft way up on top of the tree. He put a, the second graft in the middle of the tree. And he put the third graft at the bottom of the tree. He did this to teach me. And, and he taught me how to, how to cut the cutting how to cut the bark, peel it back, set the cutting in, wax it down, wrap it up. Taught me all that stuff, but what he really wanted to teach me was something about God's truth. And and the te the graft on the top of the tree died. The graft in the middle of the tree lived and bore fruit. But the fruit was small and bitter. The graft on the bottom of the tree, we had to build a trellis to prop it up. It had so much fruit on it, it would have broken had we not propped it up. And the fruit was big and sweet and juicy. Now, when, when, in the fall, when we were enjoying some delicious peaches and nectarines and plums, Grandpa sent me back to get some more off the tree, and we were going to have a second ramp. Well, when I got back, he had these stones, some from peaches, some from nectar.